Good morning. I am Priyanjali, your host for today on Z Talk, a public awareness initiative on how we can protect our kidneys from damage and also to lead a healthy life. Because if our kidneys are damaged, we know the consequences. And if it's already damaged, we would want to know how can we have a normal life to educate us on what's right for our kidney health. We have with us renowned consultant nephrologist, Dr. Bala Krishna from Coimbatore, who is currently practicing at Satyam Kidney Care. First of all, welcome to Z Talk, sir. Yeah. Our first question for you would be, what is the role of kidney in our body? How important is kidney health? Also, what are the common problems which arises in our kidney? Yeah. First, coming to the first question, the role of kidneys. We are bestowed with two kidneys and they play a vital role in our overall health. The main role is it tries to eliminate the waste produced in our body during the metabolism. This is the first main thing. The second one is it maintains the salt and water content in our body. We don't consume same amount of salt, same amount of water every day. According to the need, kidney retains or excretes and it maintains it in the normal range. The other thing is, so many acids are produced in our body during our day-to-day -day food intake, body metabolism, everything. So this has to be excreted regularly on a regular basis to keep it in normal range. So this is also done by the kidney. Other than that, kidney produces two vital hormones. One is called erythropoietin to maintain or improve the hemoglobin. And the other one is uh, vitamin D active form. The one on hydroxylase enzyme is produced by the kidney. So these are all the vital functions of the kidney. And the overall normal kidney function is very much essential for the normal life and well-being of the individual. And if there is a dysfunction, it ha has impacts on the various organ systems of our body. It can affect, say, any system in the body, the central nervous system, the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, musculoskeletal system, etc. So, it's very vital. The impact will be more on certain organ, organ systems or sometimes in the end stage, it has got a, an adverse effect on all organ systems. Right. Uh, doctor, a second question for you would be, how does hypertension or blood pressure affect our kidney? Yeah. So, normal blood pressure is necessary for the blood circulation to the vital organs. So, it has to be normal. If it is going to be less or very high, it will have a deleterious effect and it will cause damage to the kidneys or, or, or any organ that sense. But the major brunt is borne by the kidneys. So, whenever there is a long-standing uncontrolled hypertension, it will have an adverse effect on the kidneys. The blood vessels are narrowed. The blood supply to the kidney is increased, decreased. The kidneys in due course get damaged and they become small and shrunken. Doctor, uh, a slightly unusual question. I think you have heard it before. But why is it happening so much in this time? I, I mean, with time, we see that such problems are arising rapidly. Why is it happening, Doctor? See, the thing is mainly because of our lifestyle changes. So, we are not like our previous generation where they tend to eat according to their need their activities are more and they don't lead a sedentary life they eat a healthy food healthy food in the sense they take vegetables fruits and this thing those days there were not these what are all junk foods we are having so the thing is mainly now the reason is leading a sedentary life uh, loss of any exercise, not doing any exercise. We tend to travel or this thing, everything by a vehicle. We don't walk. We don't physically exert ourselves. The other thing is, we have to take healthy foods. That is, you take a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, less of carbohydrates, and you have to maintain a normal body mass index. You should not be overweight. And of course, smoking and obesity, alcohol, all these contribute. In this present generation, the incidence of all these things are increasing. Diabetes is increasing, hypertension increasing, obesity is increasing. 
smoking, sedentary lifestyle. So we see an yeah, increased incidence of kidney disease now. Okay. Doctor, uh, also when we are speaking about kidney, we know that it is not easily detectable. Mm. We are not able to identify the cause. So what can such people do in such situation when they are not able to identify the cause within? So, so one thing I'll ad- advise is everyone, anybody goes to your doctor, please have your blood pressure checked first and right. foremost. Right. For any illness that matter. And especially people over 40 should have periodical examinations. Right. And especially if anybody in the family is having hypertension or diabetes, we have to be more uh, pre-reactive or proactive to have our test done on a periodical basis to detect them early and get it treated early. Well, that was a very informative talk with Dr. Balakrishna. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor, for your valuable advice. I'm sure all our viewers will be benefited from your advice. And viewers, do like, follow and subscribe our Z Talk page on Facebook and YouTube. And to get more information and right information from renowned kidney specialists, stay connected. Stay safe and stay healthy.